In the Olympic era of Rugby Sevens, games are being won and lost by the narrowest of margins, meaning every percentage gain away from the pitch is time well spent. With the introduction of full-time status in Sevens, uh, coaching has become a lot, lot more technical, as well as refereeing. So analysis plays a big, big role in a lot of the um, full-time coaches' coaching process. And from my first time in the series, there was four analysts. Now there are up to 13. Now there's a wireless network the teams can now download all their footage. All 16 teams have access to the same uh, content. So the information that they collate from their software packages allows them to develop performance profiles on teams, which allows them to prepare for their future performances. So if that's the defender there, we've got four attackers running up and chasing here. We'll look at a little bit on attacks. One team seeing a significant benefit in using video analysis are this year's big climbers, Canada. I think now with majority of teams have an analyst to start off with, I think the footage of the games and you tend to watch not only what you do, but you really look closely at what your opposition do, uh, not only every game, but every tournament as well, to see if they have certain trends. So we could just look at what they did in Wellington and we think that, but actually when you go to the other one, where they go against us, it's always that. So it's, you see two different pictures. We feel from an improvement level, we've been able to employ our full-time anal analyst with us within the programme. Now we're able to take him on tour as well. So for me as a, as a coach, we will look at a team and we'll make it sometimes a decision maybe an hour, hour and a half prior to a kickoff to decide, OK, this is what we're going to do against this team, having watched them play two previous games on, for example, day one in our third game. So there are certain tactics that you do employ against certain teams and in set pieces as well. For some teams, analysis starts on the training paddock. We've got a couple of training sessions where, where we're just trying to work on stuff that we've, that we've identified from Tokyo. Um, my job here is just to just to film these necessary aspects so we can get them back to, back to Simon and, and um, we can review it tonight and, and show the boys and, and keep working on these areas to improve for the weekend. And come match day, the laptop is plugged into the live broadcast and primed for action. So this is a multi-use multi, multi -use room, so we've got all the analysts for all the teams and the IRB that sit here. Um, a lot of people in here, in here all day, uh, so yeah, it gets a bit hectic. A crucial modern link then between the management and the game unrolling. Here's Norton. He's got it away. Oh, brilliantly, beautifully done. Um, we look at all aspects. We look at, you know, um, set piece, set piece is key, you know, the kickoffs and, then, and the scrums and line outs, um, and defensively, really, decision making, um, and, and quite a few um, of our. Our focus is on our defence, really. There's things we look at that we don't that we don't want to let people know, we, um, but they're they're aspects of our game, and they're only specific to us. You know, each guy in here will have different things that they look at, and um, that is specific to their their tactics, really. One man with a unique role within his own team is Scotland's multitasking skills coach, former international centre Graham Shield. Well, looking at the analysis side of things, it's, it's become more and more important for, for each and every team. The crew of analysts that are travelling with each team are getting bigger and bigger, and, and information that they can generate is more, more powerful. Um, you know, for, for us, it's trying to make it as, as fluent between the, the, the statistics and trying to get the information we need to try and enhance our performances, which is a vital part of, of our daily, weekly and, and tournament preparation and performances. Scotland now with the ball, and that is try number three for Scotland. 22 seconds, that long is a long way to score from here. Yeah. Steve Gimmel of Scotland will be very pleased this team have made their way through to the bowl final. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're just looking back, we've just looked back at the game we just had against Argentina, and it's just Sort of pinpointing things that we can maybe work on for the next one, what maybe went well, what, went, what didn't go so well. Uh, we've also got the game that France have just played against Samoa, so we'll have a look at them because we've got them up next uh, and just see any sort of areas that we can kind of exploit against them. Oh, it's hugely important. I mean, when you come off a game, sometimes there's all sorts of things going on in your head. 
but when you actually see it in play, it, it kind of changes things a wee bit, and uh, you can see with a bit more detail about what you're doing. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a massive thing for us being able to do that. And space out wide, and Turnbull doesn't even have to get up to his top speed. He's in, and uh, this is a good last day for the Scots. It certainly makes a big difference for the guys, you know, we, we, we know France well, we, we know Kenya well, we've played against them you know, a number of times this season, so uh, today's been about using analysis to make sure that we've done the, the right things at the right time, which has been positive. Well, recent research in performance analysis has identified that coaches can only recall 30 to 40 percent of gameplay without the use of video. So speaking to a lot of coaches, they will tell you that it is a vital part of their preparation for performance.